you know, just because I've had two children, that doesn't mean I can't continue playing at the top level. workplace when you announce that you're pregnant the majority of the time you can continue working up until your due date whereas obviously being an athlete you can't I'm a massive believer in you know just because I've had two children that doesn't mean I can't continue playing at the top level I had really bad morning sickness so I'd be like throwing up in the morning and having to get on the coach There was one morning where I thought, oh God, I'm going to have to tell one of my teammates because this is just crazy, but I didn't. I just blamed on the travel sickness. I definitely sense that there is a lot of players that think that they can only have a family when they've finished playing. And I wasn't prepared to make that sacrifice. Whereas obviously being an athlete, you kind of, you can't continue the whole way through. So for a club, you know, in netball there isn't that much money. And so for clubs to be paying out a whole salary to somebody that can't necessarily perform the duty of playing um, is quite difficult. Okay, if you're unable to fulfil your physical duty of you're performing actually what else can you do can that individual help with coaching leading kind of master classes workshops you know coach education management that's the other sort of element that i was a bit mindful of when i first fell pregnant with otis it was like does that now mean that i'm literally just going to be like cut off and removed and i really didn't want that I've